West End, Bermuda today. It's been a little over ten and a half months since we left San Diego, California, and since we've had a few weeks to reflect on our time in Africa and the Middle East, we wanted to provide a wrap-up of our time in these two places. That's right, Taryn. We spent about three weeks in Kenya and another three weeks in Ethiopia, followed by ten days in Jordan. Phew. Yeah, we were on the move nearly every day with treks in all three locations. We saw and experienced a lot. What surprised you the most? Um, well, of course, whenever people think of Africa, they think of the animals. Mm -hmm. And we saw a lot of animals, especially in Kenya. Mm -hmm. We, uh, in fact, saw the big five on the first day on our safari. Yeah, we've never seen the leopard before. In fact, we got to even see him when he was out hunting Thompson gazelles, which was really a thrill. Right. And we were there for the Great Migration, too. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know what the Great Migration is, it occurs twice a year when up to one million wildebeest, zebras, and other animals migrate between Tanzania and the Maasai Mara National Reserve in Kenya. It was quite a sight and a blast to photograph. I enjoyed the three-day walking uh, safari that we did on the way to reserve. Yeah, that was really great as well. It was a little out there. There were no fences, and we did see a few animals. And at night, they employed villagers to maintain a fire to keep the animals away. They told us that hyenas did try to enter our camp that one night. Yeah, that one night I think they did. And then next we moved on to the Samburu region um, north of Nairobi. Yeah, we took a Matatu, which is a small public bus, from Nairobi to Isiola, and then another very crowded vehicle to Archer's Post. From there we were picked up by Lucas from an NGO called the Samburu Project, an organization that has dug 40 plus wells for the people who live in this hot and dry part of the world. Yeah, and this was really a part of Africa that tourists don't see. Yeah, real Africa. Yeah, definitely real Africa, but it was sobering too, and so great to see the work that the Samburu Project is doing there. Well, then it was off to Ethiopia where we trekked in the Simeon Mountains. What was your takeaway from this experience? Well, again, we saw a lot of animals there, including the baboons and the ibex. Well, don't forget the Simeon Fox. You mean the Ethiopian wolf? Whatever. Yeah, I think they actually are known by both their names. and there's less than a hundred of those animals left in the entire park. So we were pretty lucky to yep. see two of them. Yeah, two. I even captured a video of one of them. Um, but to answer your question, Darren, I think the thing that really surprised me the most about Ethiopia was the history. Yeah. Um, I mean, they have a writing system going back 3,000 years. Yeah. And we even saw the Ethiopian version of the Rosetta Stone, which contains inscriptions in three different languages, just like the Rosetta right. Stone that's in the British Museum. Right. So what about you? What, what are your takeaways? The school visit was the thing that's most prominent in my mind in Ethiopia. Uh, it was the most remote school that we had visited and we've done 18 of them so far. It was pretty clear that they don't get too many visitors no, there. No, it's pretty clear I think. And we found out later that the school was actually built by a German NGO and in fact our guide Burhan was out helping to supervise the construction of a third building there. Mm -hmm. I also appreciated the Tigray region in the north. We got to climb. You mean you got to climb. Uh, that's right. Uh, you, <laughs> you don't like rocks. No, I don't like not just rocks, but I guess that 600 foot drop off bothered me just a little uh, bit. The path too. was this wide. It was perfectly safe. Yeah, but. And totally worth it because I got to interview a monk that lived there on top of, of this mountain. So, uh, and I, uh, honest truth, they bring newborns up this same path to be baptized. Uh, the art inside the monastery was simply amazing, and the monastery, as I mentioned, carved right into the rock. Okay, okay, yeah, it was, it was good. I saw the pictures. But um, after a few days, um, after Ethiopia, we went to do some R&R &R in Dubai and then on to Jordan. So mm -hmm. your thoughts on Jordan? The locals call Jordan the quiet house in the noisy neighborhood, and that sounds just about right. We took a trip south from Amman to the Dead Sea and then began uh, our third trek in six weeks along Bedouin yeah. trails. Uh, to Petra. Yeah, and Petra had been on our bucket list probably for at least 20 years. Right. Every time we saw photographs of the treasury, we said we got to go there sometime. Yeah. So we made sure that Jordan was on our Trekking the Planet itinerary early on in the planning. And we wanted to do more of a, a more than a day tour, so we worked with a local outfit called Adventure Jordan to build an itinerary that ended in Petra. Yeah, and here again the history just blew us away. I mean, we saw broken pottery from the Edomite and Roman times nearly everywhere you worked, you looked, you were stepping on it, literally. Right. 
So uh, what surprised you the most? About Petra? Yeah. I, I didn't know it was so big. Um, there's actually still 500 facades in existence, and experts believe that most of them actually served as tombs. And then we traveled to Wadi Rum. Yep, that was where they um, filmed Lawrence of Arabia in the 1960s. Right. I guess I should have done more research before we arrived, but I was super impressed with the yeah. landscape. It was a blast to drive around. It was around. really beautiful. And we even got to ride camels. Ah, uh, your camels. Yeah, it was beautiful in the early morning to ride those camels along the, the desert landscape. Right. It was really nice. Okay, so what's next? Well, we're currently crossing the Atlantic on the Pacific Princess, and we will arrive in Manaus, Brazil on January 3rd. And Manaus is actually 600 miles up the Amazon River, which will be interesting. And if you want to know more about our South American itinerary, um, we've just published an article, so search on the keyword South America on our website. Well, that's just about it. If you haven't signed up for our free weekly newsletters and are interested in doing so, search on subscribe on our website for more information. And as always, we look forward to receiving your comments, your questions, whether you be an educator in the classroom or one of the friends who's following our journey as well. You can contact us on our Facebook page, Trekking Planet, or you can email us at info at trekkingtheplanet.net. Till next time, safe trekking and Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Bye. Bye-bye.